Hello YouTube, I'm here today to show you, uh, tell you about DVD Decryptor. If you, this is use, a program used for if you want to make a second copy of a film for whatever reason. Legally, you're allowed to have one backup copy of the DVD as long as you own it. So I'm going to show you how to do it today. But you can also use it as a rip if you want to for other DVDs. Right, so you go to the website and you'll download DVD Decrypto. I'll just quickly show you down here. You can see it looks like a little disc. This DVD Decrypto. When you open it, it'll bring up this. Okay. And it will say here, whatever. Right, you've got your disc in, so it's delayed to do that. What we're going to do is go mode, ISO, oh no, IFO. IFOI, right? So you go mode and you go mode it's up here and your second one down. Okay. Then it'll bring up this. Right, then you go to streaming process. Enable streaming process, right? Now you can choose you want all your English audios. You can get all rid of all subtitles, so Arabic, blah blah blah. I'm not gonna because I'm doing green zone and that has people speaking other languages near that. And you just leave that like that if you don't want to take anything out. But if you're doing a film that doesn't have other language in it, you can just take all the subtitles and take up less room. Right, once it's done, it says capacity of your thing down here, of your hard drive, and then free space left. Okay, and it tells you where it's going to save it to. So it's going to save it to my C drive as Green Zone DV uh, Video TS. Out with a file. And then all I have to do is, as my disk is in everything, and I've set that all up properly, just this, and I say this. Let it tell you free space and everything, how much it's got to transfer is uh, transferred over here, and size over here. Okay, so transfer, size. Time remaining. Time elapsed, and you can stop it if you want to. So you press that button. You say, do you really want to cancel? Click yes. So I want to cancel it. And as you do want to delete the incomplete file, click yes. Alright guys, that's just how to use DVD decryptor. It's not that hard, pretty simple to work out. I'll put a link for the website to download DVD decryptor in the description. Okay, thanks for watching, rate and subscribe. Thanks, bye.